You know, anytime I call out divesting for what it is, the first thing I usually hear is that Black men did it first. Men did it first. They've been spewing all this hateful rhetoric. They hate us. They don't want us here. So this is why I'm divesting. I, in my research, have yet to see any popular, well-known Black male content creator that has openly called for the abortion or the elimination of Black female kids. That's happened. That has happened, though, from female content creators. Female content creators have called for the elimination of Black male babies. I've yet to see a man do that. I have yet to see a Black male content creator openly promote violence on his profile picture and and basically promote a hate crime against women. I haven't seen a men do that, but I have seen women do that. So, you know, we can play tit for tat. Um, he did it first. I did it first. I think the bigger issue is that um, if you have found a reason, if you have found a reason to justify in your mind why an entire group of people is wrong or evil, you're being deceived. Because if you're going around with that narrative and you're trying to escape or run from trauma and your path that you haven't dealt with, you're gonna imp- you're going to run into that trauma in another community. Because the issue at that point, it's not the genetic makeup of men. There's not the genetic makeup of the Black community. It's what's going on inside of you. And this, to me, is the big issue about this movement. It gives Black women a reason to not face themselves, to not face the demons within themselves. Many people come from dysfunctional families and, and, and dysfunctional backgrounds. But that doesn't mean that you can't change. You know, a true walk with God, a true, a true spiritual connection, a true willingness to be able to address those issues means that you can have a fulfilling life. But if there's no ability to do that, and if all we get to do is is point our fingers and blame men for all the things they supposedly do, and none of us take any responsibility, and no woman in the past take any responsibility, the thing is going to change. So it's incredibly dangerous for you to find a reason to justify hatred towards another people group, and for you to find a reason to be a victim and to not take any accountability for what you're believing, what you could have done to, you know, to cause any problems. None of that. And if you're being led, by the way, by uh, nameless faceless avatars who won't even cam up and show their face, if that's who's leading you, uh, be mindful of that. Because how do you know anything they're saying is even valid if they don't even have the courage to show you who they are?